Welcome to day 230 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon horn Nelson here. And today we are talking about, of course, confidence growth. The entire month of this month, I'm going to say August, but you might not be listening to it in August. We are devoting to becoming more confident, having more confidence in ourselves, our thoughts, our ability to deal with challenges and challenges all around better sense of knowing that we are complete and capable and we can create anything that we want. And that's what today's topic is, creating your own life. I have a lot of discussions around this topic because whenever I talk to somebody, especially when it comes to a consulting client, one of the first things that comes up is all of the stuff they have to do, all of the things they're actually doing. And I start to ask questions about if it's moving them toward what it is that they want to create and what we talked about, you know, visualizing what we want to create. And a lot of the time, about 80% of all of the, the actions they're taking, the thoughts they're thinking, the way they're responding to different things is just that they're responding. They're not proactively creating what it is that they want. So today we are going to look at a five step process, five things to remember. I think it's important to remember these things whenever we're living our life, but especially when it comes to improving our confidence. We all want to be more confident. We all want to feel more certain and capable in any situation that comes our way. And I think there was a mass uh, fear dumping with the COVID pandemic, and it took people that were normally confident and successful, and it stuck them in an uncomfortable, isolated box, and good things didn't grow out of that. I think we're going to be seeing the impact of that event for decades to come. But what are some ways that we can build confidence? Well, of course, we can commit to personal growth and continuous improvement. Either you do or you don't. Either it's important to you or it's not. Some people, and I don't know what the percentage of the population is, are perfectly happy to just keep being who they are right now at the stage that they're at. And they don't really care if they become a better version of themselves or if they do anything. Those aren't the people that are in a challenge like this. That's not you, it's certainly not me. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we are 100% committed to continually improving who we are as a human being, how we show up, what we do, what we say, our actions. Guess what? None of us are perfect. We're going to slip. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to say something stupid. Heck, I do that about every other day on my videos. And I haven't burst into flames yet. So I think it's okay. But if we commit to that, even if we miss a day, we'll pick it up the next day. We won't just, you know throw the baby out with the the wash water because we know that sometimes we make mistakes and we use them as stepping stones to learn from. We'll talk about that in a few days. Secondly, we want to surround ourselves with a support system. Sometimes we all need a hand. So I got these tongs for my granddaughter. I love them. Uh, I got a green pair and a red pair. I know, so silly, so ridiculous, so fun for playing with and, and doing in videos. So We want to make sure that we're surrounding ourselves with the right people and the right support to help us to achieve what it is that we want in our level of confidence. A lot of times we just want the ability to practice or have somebody to bounce our ideas off of so that we can get some neutral feedback in terms of how the message is being received, etc. I need more coffee this morning, obviously. So thirdly, we want to take consistent action. It's why I love the annual challenge. It requires that I do one thing every day to move my life in the direction I want to go. So I don't skip a day. I do it every single day right along with you because I know the incredible exponential growth compound impact of doing something every day, doing a little thing every day to move us toward we want to, what is we want to create in the world. Uh, We want to, of course, develop resilience because, like I said, we're not perfect. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to run into roadblocks. We're going to have setbacks. We're going to have obstacles and challenges that come our way just because that's how life is. Life is this swirling billions of possibilities all the time. And so we need to be resilient knowing that sometimes we're going to get knocked down. We're going to do something or say something and think, oh, my God, I can't believe that came out of my mouth or Oh my goodness, I can't believe I tried to do that and epically failed. Guess what? I don't I can't think of hardly anything, if anything, that I've ever done the first time and been absolutely positively 100 percent dead nuts on perfect with it. it. It just to me, perfect does not exist. We strive to be better and better and better versions of ourselves. But if we think we're ever going to be perfect, 
we are setting ourselves up for disappointment and failure because perfect is just like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder. How do we know what's perfect to me might not be perfect to you? One of my affirmations is I have perfect health in all areas and aspects of my life. Now, is every area and aspect of my life and health and you know physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, contribution, and confidence, are they all tens? Never. Will they ever be? No, they're not going to be. But it gives me something to strive for to think about the different areas and aspects of my life and how I want to go about improving them. And finally, we want to embrace authenticity and vulnerability. When we are vulnerable and open to what the world has to offer and to growing our confidence, when we're open and vulnerable to feedback, we'll accept the feedback in the intent that it was shared. Uh, sometimes people are mean, right? Sometimes people are rude and disrespectful. Guess what? It should roll right off us just like rain on a turtle's back. It should just not bother us. But sometimes it does. Sometimes it puts a little chink in our armor and we end up going down a negative thought path. We don't want to do that, right? Because that definitely does not build our confidence. It undermines our confidence. So what's our action item today? I want you to just share one way that you are currently creating your own life. What's one thing that you're doing to, to create the life that you want? Maybe you're saving money. Maybe you're joining a club. Maybe you're looking and, and bringing like-minded people into your life. I don't know what it's going to be for you. Uh, I know what mine is. I haven't written it down yet, but I'll have to think about what is my one thing that I'm creating the life I want. Mine is I do it every day. It's just inherent in everything I do. I've made it habits. And so the things that move me toward what it is that I want I, I automatically do. And when you put them on autopilot, you're moving toward what you want faster than you can even imagine. All right, that's it. Any questions? Of course you ask. Any challenges with this? Do you not believe that you have the ability to create your own life? If you don't, that's where we need to start for you. All right, any questions? Please, please, please ask. Otherwise, I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Have an amazing day.